Question. Should the Brooklyn Nets go after Chris Stapp's Prozenius this summer? Bye, Felicia. Let's talk about it. You are listening to You're Basketball listening Talk basketball. within the pitch. Yeah, ball. boy! Oh, man, they give you the biggest oh, basketball, basketball news, basketball, news, basketball, news, basketball, news basketball, interviews, and topics, and, and, much, much more. and much, much more. So without further ado, so without put, further your ado together, put your hands together, put your hands together yeah, for in the Pitch Raw. Backstory: The New York Knicks had an opportunity to sign Chris Stapps to a five-year, $158 million extension. However, if they would have, that would have affected their flexibility going into the 2019 NBA free agency. Now, let me tell you the mindset of the New York Knicks. The Knicks figure. If they keep some flexibility going into the 2019 NBA free agency, they can make an offer to players like Kevin Durant, Clay Thomas, Jimmy Butler, or perhaps Kimber Walker. And when, or may I say if, one of them players would sign with them, then they can backtrack and then re-sign Chris Dow fool. But Chris the Dow. only problem with that is that leave Chris Stapps open to being a restricted free agent. And for those that don't know what a restricted free agent is, that means that Chris Stapps will be able to sign an offer sheet with any team in the NBA, and the New York Knicks will have 48 hours to match that deal. Now, in come the Brooklyn Nets, a team who's been on record of saying that they are very high on Chris Stapps yes. and the question I ask should the Brooklyn Nets go after Chris Stapps this summer and for the first time in my podcast history I'm not going to answer the question all I'm going to do is give you guys the pros and the cons of the Brooklyn Nets chasing this man pro number one obviously if the Nets was able to obtain Chris Stapps they would get the star that they desperately need. And also, another shot blocker to put alongside their young center, Jared Allen. And to be honest with you guys, Brazilian's game fit the Brooklyn Nets offense better than it fits the New York Knicks offense. And the reason why I say that is because the Brooklyn Nets offense is predicated on moving the ball and allowing the open man to take the shot. Not only that, Brazilians will not have the burden of carrying the weight of the team in Brooklyn on his back the way he had the burden of carrying the weight on the team on his back in the Knicks. However, Chris Stapp, Brazilians, is injury prone. In his first season in the league, he missed 10 games. Second season, around 16. Third season, 30-something games. In his fourth season, he has failed to play because of an ACL injury. Now, as I said, I am not here to give you my opinion as to whether or not the Brooklyn Nets are signing. But I will leave you guys with this question. If Chris Tapp-Bazinius is injury prone at the age of 23, what will his health look like at the age of 33? And for the record... Derek Rose, Ricky Rubio, Nene, Iman something, and Kendall Marshall have all had ACL surgery between the ages of 21 and 23. And with that said, I'm going to let you guys make the decision as to whether or not the Brooklyn Nets should make a run at Chris Stapazinius. I'm Independent Rob. I'm from BeatballAddicts.com. And wherever you listen to this podcast on, follow me. Do what you got to do. Looking for a reliable security company? Contact See you. The security professionals at Apogee Security Services. We provide top-rated security guard service and video surveillance for your business or residence. We're licensed, bonded, and insured. We provide professionally trained armed or unarmed security guards to protect your property. Give us a call at 888-281-7822 or visit our website at apogeesecurity.net. And remember, 
It's always better to be proactive than reactive.